Hey guys, welcome to Tectric Tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about ID document verification on Upwork. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. Identity verification on Upwork is more than a formality. It is a cornerstone that shapes your freelancing journey. Firstly, it establishes credibility, assuring clients that you're genuine and trustworthy. This trust factor sets you apart and boosts your chances of landing projects. Safety is a paramount, and Upwork strives for a secure platform. Your verified identity contributes to this by reducing the risk of fraudulent accounts, giving clients confidence in their choices. Moreover, verification grants access to premium opportunities. The coveted blue tick signals professionalism, attracting high-value projects and long-term collaboration. Compliance with standards is a key to a professional reputation. Verification aligns with industry practices and ethical conduct, enhancing your standing in the freelance community. This process opens doors to a rewarding freelancing journey. Now let's explore the step-by-step -step tutorial to verify your identity on Upwork. Now let's start on logging on your account. On the upper part, you'll see the login and sign up button. Click on login to continue. Then you'd be able to see in there a space wherein you can put in your email or you can continue with Google or Apple. Now you'd be able to see the dashboard and the first thing that we'll look for is here on the right side, the profile completeness. So let's not overlook the significance of maintaining a 100% complete profile on Upwork. Having this demonstrates your professionalism and commitment to your freelancing career. It shows that you've taken the time to provide comprehensive information about your skills, experiences, and accomplishments. Clients are more likely to engage with freelancers who have a complete profile as it gives them a clear understanding of your capabilities and expertise. Also having this is essential for the identity verification process itself since Upwork requires accurate information for the verification process to proceed smoothly. So if your profile is incomplete or lacks essential details, it can hinder the verification process and delay your access to a verified status. Now let's click onto that and from there you'd be able to see the different steps that you could do to complete your profile. So you could choose to add in a portfolio or video introduction certifications or other experiences. And here on my end, I added an employment history, education, a profile photo, an overview and skills and that makes my account 100% complete. Now it's time to access the help center. So what you'll need to do is just simply scroll down to find the help center option and then click on it to proceed. Now here on the Help Center page, you'd be able to find the solutions fast since you'd be able to browse help categories in here. So we can see the get started, build your profile, find a project, start working, get paid, payment issues, accounts, and apps, and there are still many more. Feel free to skim all over the details in there since if you'll need any help into your Upwork account, you can just head into this Help Center since they will offer the solution for you. In the Help Center, find the account section. So as you can see, we already found it in here. So in the account, we can see that there is account settings, service options, and also the identity verification option. Click on it to get started with the verification process. So as you can see, we can see already in here the account settings, the service options, and if you'll scroll down a little bit more, you'll see the identity verification. So there are different categories over this one. So what we'll need to do in here is we'll need to head on types of ID verification so that we would know what are the different types of ID that is required or what do you need to do in order to proceed and to be verified on Upwork. So you'll just need to click onto this to proceed. Now on this page, you can see green phrases onto the center. So the government ID verification, government ID plus residency verification, and the video verification. So these are the several ways to verify your identity. Now let's start with government ID verification. And from this page, you'd be able to see the documents required for you to be able to verify your account. So the ID must include your picture, signature, name, date of birth, and address with the exception of passport, which don't need your address. Also, the documents that they accept includes passport, national ID, driver's license, NBI clearance, tax ID, voter's ID, postal ID, or any valid government-issued ID. Note that they don't accept student ID, employee IDs, library cards, handwritten IDs, temporary IDs, photocopied IDs, military IDs, and health cards. They also put in a note that don't crop, rotate, touch up, adjust colors, or alter the image in any way. So scrolling down further will give you more information regarding this type of verification. So feel free to dig in into this information deeper. 
So here's another option for verification, which is the Government ID plus Residency Verification. So you can choose Government ID Residency Verification, and this involves providing image of both your Government ID and Residency documents like utility bills. So let's go over ahead and hear on what are the requirements for this option. So mostly on what you'll see here onto the requirements are just the same onto the first option that we discussed earlier. The only difference is that for refugees and asylum seekers, we may accept the following documents such as an HCR issued document, asylum seeker temporary visa, and asylum seeker certificate. So the same documents they can accept such as student IDs, employee IDs, and library cards, and the same note to don't crop, rotate, touch up, and adjust color or alter the image in any way. Now let's talk about the other verification that is needed for this, which is the residency verification. So the acceptable documents for this includes the bank statement, credit card statements, utility bills, or any other monthly bill that meets the name, address, and date criteria above. So the statement must include your name, address, as well as the utility or bank address. The dates on your scan statement must be within six months of the date you upload them. And just be sure that on the statement, it must match both your verified name on Upwork and your government ID. Also, your address must match the location information you entered on Upwork. And the same note, don't crop, rotate, touch up, adjust color, or alter the image in any way. And lastly, make sure you meet the image guidelines and also review the tips for taking a photo of your ID or statement so that it would successfully go through. Now lastly, let's go over to the last option, which is video verification. Video verification or visual verification is a user-friendly method to verify your identity that involves a brief interview. So Upwork will contact you for a short video call interview, and during the interview, a representative will ask you questions based on the information you provided in your profile. So this step is crucial to confirm that the details on your profile match your actual identity. While most freelancers must verify by video call, there is also an option for some to do a digital photo verification. So here's how it works. You'll just need to log into Upwork, visit the Identity Verification section in your Upwork settings, choose the selfie method, then select mobile camera or web camera, center your face on the oval on the screen, and then smile to take a selfie. You'll just need to wait to get verified. So for the video verification, to complete that, they will invite you to a video call via Google Meet. So an Upwork representative will ask you a few questions to confirm the information in your profile, and they may also request that you show proof of your identity, such as a government-issued ID during the call. So you can see in here in the Help Center the tools that are needed and how to complete the video call process. So there are also tips and troubleshooting in here. So you'll need to review all of the steps in here so that you can make sure that your verification process would be really successful. Now to get to the real thing, just head back to dashboard and click your profile here onto the upper right. Then click settings. So once you're in the setting, just scroll down and click on identity verification. And here you'll see if your ID document is already verified. And as you can see, all of my documents are already verified. So make sure to get yours verified as well. And there you have it folks. Verifying your identity on Upwork is a straightforward process. Remember to complete your profile, choose the right verification method, and ensure accuracy in your details. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And if you found it valuable, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more useful guides and tips. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.